Hello and welcome to the club. I'm your host, add some echo, Marstradamus. This is the Upper 90 Club, a roundtable podcast where five friends discuss the Columbus crew. On this episode, we're going to review the double home game uh, week between uh, us and Nashville and Toronto from last week. We're going to go through thoughts and players and read the internet. Uh, Our resident great tit, Ben, is going to give our crew two update. Bird is uh, the hat. has flown somewhere, Jill and uh, we're going to do Run Club shout outs. Our new Run Club, a uh, great shout-out. hit of the hat. That was the joke <laughs> from last week. Yeah, uh, and uh, uh, we'll do like our we'll right do our there. predictions roundup. Uh, with me in the club are Ben, Trey, and Haas. Say hey, guys. Hello. And hello, hi. hello. Also, we have. Uh, an action figure of Mort. He's going to join us later in person, but he has kindly joined our call. I'm going to take a screenshot yeah. of this. Share what this he's, is going to be. Yeah, because yeah, this is... I logged on, and it's like this AI weird version of Mort. Yeah. I don't know. It's I don't like unsettling. It. It's freaking yeah. me out. Pretty powder-like. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty blown yeah. out. <laughs> it's a little lightning crap. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, yeah. Welcome to the club, guys. Um double home game we had the wednesday game that was pushed forward an hour uh so that you could wait two Two hours hours. (laughs) talking double double (laughs) uh and then enjoy the fireworks i'm excited to hear about that um and then yeah the game from saturday against toronto a 4-0 screamer a lot of goals to talk about tonight um let's talk about wednesday uh did you all go I yes did sir i did oh, yeah you had the fancy seats right Haas? fancy seats best game ever for free booze and food because you were there nice. for an extra two oh hours. yeah yes and you were like the only per- you were complaining the most out of all of us You're like why isn't it starting why i'm like <laughs> you have free everything yeah but it was raining, and then they watered the pitch. <laughs> like, what? what is the point? They watered the pitch? <laughs> yes. They did. Uh, yeah. Well. It's like a hat on a hat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tipping a tipped hat. Um, so, okay. And Ben, Trey, did you guys go? No. I did not. Uh-huh. No. I was nope. not going to mess with going downtown. Yeah. With yeah. I, yeah. Dude, it's a tall order for that red, white, and blue I, I dude i can't i can't go down there yeah because you can't it's park so bad you can't no, park anywhere park. and then you can't really get an uber either and if you did it would cost getting, you two hundred dollars getting to, to sure the game certain. it wasn't so bad because it was kind of pre everyone getting down there for red white and boom okay um okay how did you get home we ubered we walked a little ways out and Okay. Hailed an Uber. And so what did that cost you? How did you hail it? Yeah. Via the yeah. app? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't know. I think Alfie might have nope. paid for that Uber. We paid well, for he auto, he auto of because he, yeah, he, he got that, that bougie ticket from you last minute, right? Because mm-hmm. one of your... Uh, one of your attendees was uh, called to work. Unable or to make it. Forced to work. Okay. Yeah. Uh. Stinks. Okay. Although for that game, my the people I went with the game in my neighborhood on Saturday got um, the Edwards's sweet. Oh, oh, that's sweet. Like legit Pete's, like the sweet that's across there. It's like across from the yeah. sweets you were at, or something like that, right in the center of the field with a T. Uh, edt. Oh. Okay. <laughs> across. So, T-T. All right. Across. So I phone on. Um, <laughs> a healthy bit of one up soon ship. Thank you, Ben. And then uh yeah. not impressed. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then what about Saturday? Did you guys make it down? We did. I did, yeah. Yep. So do you bring your family, Ben, when you go? Definitely not. No. <laughs> nope. We took them one well, we took them to like the crew two final a while ago. Yeah. And it okay. I think that was yeah, that's the one where 
they saw them selling um, cotton candy. Cotton candy. I remember this. Your and we gave them cotton candy, and we immediately <laughs> lost them. They were just like, whoa, we're gone. Zoop. Oh. And like just ran. And I was like, where are my kids? And everyone's like, I don't know. And they would just were running they like the, nine, the circle. Nine, six, and I have no idea how old they are, but they were one, gone. The one-year-old <sighs> learned to walk after eating Dude, cotton candy. one-year-old wasn't. Yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> Pro tip, if you want your kids to walk, feed them cotton candy. <laughs> I'm a doctor. Yeah. Okay. Um, Trey, you said you didn't make it. Nope. And Haas, did not you, make it. You, you made it. Attended both. Okay. I'm a true fan. Yeah. Yeah. Mort was there. I didn't actually get to see Mort. Saw Rex, though. Mm. Never mind. Let me oh, Mort Rex. came up and hung out for a little bit. Not with me. You must have been up in the Nordic. Yep. Yep. Okay. Well, we've got a lot of uh, a lot of games to cover here. Um, so let's let's just kind of jump in. Um, we'll start with uh, the Nashville game from the third. Go ahead, Trey. Hey, what happened? Facts that could save your life. All right. Wednesday, July 3rd, 2024 at Lower.com Field in front of a reported 20,411 annoyed fans. This game was delayed for two hours and 15 minutes, as we talked about earlier, for thunderstorms in the area with kickoff finally happening at 8.45 p.m. Haas, who started who started for the crew against Nashville? Against Nashville, we had Rossi, Cucho, and Ramirez up top. Arfston, Nagby, Zawadski, and Farsi across the middle. Amundsen, Camacho, Marrera in the back with Schulte in goal. All right, so this game saw the crew dominate in all the major statistical categories. Crew with possession advantage of 55 to 45%. XG, crew 2.35 to Nashville 0.77. Total shots, crew with 17 with four on target to Nashville 8 with three on target. The only advantage Nashville had in the statistical categories was in fouls committed and yellow cards earned with 12 fouls and two yellows. Only 12 fouls. Interesting. Yep. So 30th minute, Mars, tell us about the goal. 30th minute, corner kick, stage right. Rossi plays it short to Arfson, who dishes the ball to where the 18-yard box meets the end line. Rossi, in pursuit, walks the line and plays a scooping cross right before he cheats. And finds Cucho at the back corner of the 18, stage left. Cucho settles and uh, plays across to the middle of the ring of fiery Nashville defenders, finding Christian Ramirez, who heads the ball down and directly into goal, beating Joe Willis, diving to his right, and adding Johnny to the list of caches who call him daddy. Uh, The logo celebration was interrupted by VAR. They reviewed the uh, near out-of-bounds pass from Arfston, but couldn't find an angle definitive enough to overrule the call on the field. A goal the men in black surely hope to forget. One to zero, crew. The bones are their money. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. So are their bones. (laughs) Yeah. All right, so that took us to halftime. Um, After half, we saw Yagi Boa subbed in for Arfston at halftime. And then in 65th minute, we had another crew goal. Mars, tell us about it. Yeah, 65th minute. Play starts from Schulte in the back uh, through a couple passes. Uh, the ball lands at Cucho's feet at midfield on the left side. Cucho finds Jaboa sprinting down the end line, who, with his first touch, plays the ball on the ground beautifully toward goal. It's met by Rossi, who's followed by a trailing bachelorette party of SC defenders. With his first, first touch, he plays the ball forward to draw Willis and uh, takes a shot. Hawk two. Oh, he took a shot. hey <laughs> He takes it quickly with his left foot behind the keeper, slicing into the back corner of the goal like a hawk. Two, zero crew. Oh, still, he did. <laughs> still 65th minute. Rossi immediately tucks in his talons and trots to the corner like the T-Rex seen on I-65, just north of Music City. <laughs> All coming. right, so the most insane thing that happened during this goal was the fact that the fireworks for Red, White, and Boom were going off. Yeah. And the timing could not have been any better. There's like a beauty cam shot yeah. that you can see the yep. play develop. And, you know, if, if anybody hasn't seen it, go out to Twitter and and find that video because it's, it's really cool to see the fireworks going off. It's one of the biggest reasons that they built the stadium downtown with the viewing angles in the corner so you could see things. Um, so that was really cool. Except um, when the sun comes in, what which actually helped us in the 
next game. Spoiler alert. Also, <laughs> the Hawk 2 girl was in Nashville for a bridal party, right? Or a yes. bachelor art party? Yes, she was. That's correct. So, okay. two circle. more subs late in the game with Henestrosa um, coming Broadway. in for Farsi. Circle of fire. What? <laughs> and Matan coming in for Ramirez. Uh, with the win, Columbus improved to 10, 3, and 6. And this was the crew's third win in a row. But the first game of the week. Yeah. Yep. I still am confused on why they didn't allow Nashville's goal. Am I the only one? Because that. It was weird. See, like it hit off his hand. And I also felt like it was an own goal. Oh, they were that was like the Farsi or the the Tyler Boyd. Yeah, ones. yeah. Um, it kind of seemed like an own goal, which it, you know, and also it it's they also said that they his like hand. It, they said that he had a handball, and the angle was weird. Did they say it went hand head and in, yeah, in or no, head hand and in? No, it was hand hand first. It like popped off his hand. It almost looked like, but it looked like it went off his shoulder, and you couldn't tell because it was in between both of them. Right. right. I just Did it you? was crazy. It was crazy because right. they they VAR'd our goal, and whoever the announcer was was like, it looks out because the angle we have is is the right, and it's like was the wrong. They angle. didn't have the it, angle. They did to not call have it the out, angle although line. it looked out. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, because if you're looking down at the ball is what you're supposed to yeah, do. Yeah, I know. So, like, know. you can it can look out. You can see grass on the other side, but, like, if you're looking down, it's not. I mean, yeah. I, I don't know. If the call on the field was a goal, like, you know, whatever. But there's, I was like, oh, man, to get, like, our call and then the other call. Yeah. I was like, yeah, right. oh, cool. Great. It's exactly we, we what I thought win, was going to happen. Totally. <sighs> totally. <laughs> No, I was genuinely surprised that they did call that goal back, though. Um, yeah, I was like, what? So, but, I mean, crew walks away with 2 nothing win, uh, first of the week. Um, so, yeah, and, and unfortunately, due to timing, you know, there weren't a ton of those 20,000 fans that were still left in the in the stadium at the end of the game. Right. Um, yeah, it did look kind of weird. But I can't blame people. I mean, sure. But oh man, you can't mess you can't mess with traffic. You, you, yeah, that's what I just assumed they were like. You can't, we and, right yeah, I mean, if ha- if half the people left to beat traffic and half the people left to watch the majestic uh, explosions over the Scioto Triangle, Scioto Peninsula, yeah. <laughs> oh the peninsula, <laughs> yeah. Uh, then the, yeah, spangled fireworks yeah. are all spangly. <laughs> Out of here. Um, we're adults. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I get it. Yeah. People, people got a people. Um, you know that's right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, so we'll talk more about this uh, after the break. But let's let's jump straight into the uh, Toronto game from Saturday. All right, Saturday, July 6, twenty twenty four, at Lower dot com Field, in front of a reported twenty thousand five hundred and forty seven enthusiastic supporters, including three of our own, which we talked about earlier. Uh, one's having a panic attack right now. Nope. Coughing. Sneezing. <laughs> All right. We got thumb, thumb sign. He's good. He's good. <laughs> Ben's He's having an attack. Thankfully. Yeah. Go ahead, Trey. Some sort of attack. All right. Including three of our own. They came out of nowhere. <laughs> well, that's what she said. Haas, tell us the lineup. Just a couple changes. We had Rossi, Cucho, Ramirez up top. Arfston, Nagby, Matan, and Farsi in the middle. Chiberco, Camacho, Marrera in the back, and Schulte in goal. All right. Once again, Love what it. we want to see. Um, and again, the crew dominated this team in all of the major statistical categories. Possession, 58 to 42% in favor of the crew. XG, 1.98 to 0.36, which I don't understand the stupid stat because we scored four goals. Yeah. Well, and we actually had. We I know. Have, like, I know. I get back. it. I get it. But still, so if you think about it, the but math, also, we don't if you like, it. if you put it into it, it just comes out that way. So, right. I know, but you still have to <laughs> factor God, in you the number teacher? of goals that you score. Like, <laughs> all right. So, anyways, uh, and, and total, total why, shots. Why so much eight. shade? XG stat. <laughs> 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 no, it just doesn't make any sp- any sense because if you have an expected goals of of two, like it should match the number of goals that you scored. 
Yeah, yeah it's like Burr Halter. Yeah, I know. It's got to be Bear Halter. Oh, Don Garber. Is it, is it one of those things like where it's like, oh, well, I didn't expect you to score that one, huh? Look at that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They, ask, like, what, they call one guy <laughs> yeah. and they're like, did you expect that? He's like, I did not. Expect no, I did, that. I did not. Like, I did. This, this, point it's like, it feels like it feels like. Yeah, it's scenario. definitely like yeah, totally yeah, New Jersey uh, soccer crime Vibes. family kind of. Right. Yeah, I mean it's based on science, yeah. but I'm surprised. Right. I'm surprised well, not you science. Scored math. Four. I'm surprised you scored. Some four. might say math is science. Yeah, those people live in Toronto. So following in Nashville's <laughs> foot, footsteps and only besting the crew in one category, and that was fouls committed. Supply, supply. Fifteen to eight with four yellows to the crew's one. Mm. The best um, yellow card was right before half with a. Uh, Donald Cornrows. Okay, no, no, I'm sorry. It's it's Mr. George Washington Cornrows. Did he not look like George Washington to He's anybody got, else like, out wood there? Teeth. I thought that was. Like, yeah, he did. He looked like powdered wig. I, that was like the worst thing I've ever seen. Even my wife was like, "What is did that?" But he's Mort's thing like is helming. Moving. Oh, he's yeah. Moving. It looked yeah. It looked, mm. uh, no, Mort, Mort's like move his like yeah, thing in the bottom. I saw, I saw, I saw it moving. move. It moved. I have some I thoughts on this. I came up with oh it. I came up with it. Oh, hold oh, on. He's, he's there. Like, <laughs> okay, no, wait. I know he has. Oh, my God. It's moving. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. I saw it on the corner of my eye, and I was like, I had a coughing fit, and this uh, is how I died. Yeah. Oh, I died. Mort, Mort, made a, Mort made a mini cricket, oh, Mort. I forgot. That's he, awesome. has, he has an action figure <laughs> of himself. <laughs> Are you wearing bicycle shorts no, those, underneath no, those, your shorts? No. All right, let me try and get back. No, no, no. Bit. I want to talk about this. I want to talk oh, about this. Okay. First, we're going to say we're going to welcome Mort to the club. Mort, welcome, welcome. Mort. Welcome, Mort. He doesn't even have it. I don't think he... He's oh, muted. He's, he is muted. That's, Thank you. That's true. Yeah, here he is. Mort, we were just talking about Federico uh, Bernadeschi, who got his uh, yellow card right before half in the Toronto game. We were talking about what he looked like. Uh, so far, I've heard... Uh, Powdered Wig Johnson. <sighs> Powdered Wig he Johnson. He got a lot of heat for it. That's Enjoy. all I know. Mr. George Washington. Uh, uh, Haas, you got any? Bicycle helmet. Bicycle helmet. No, yes. Yeah. But anyone I else? I have. So I close. said that about somebody in the uh, Euros this week. I can't remember what it was. It France. There's a guy with the blue here. I think it was. Oh yeah, yeah. And it yeah. totally looked like uh, a bicycle. Helmet. Back right back. Uh, yeah. It's is it France or Germany? Germany, I think it was. I think it, it was, was Germany. Germany. It's a German guy. I couldn't figure out like what his vibe was. Like Lauren and I were talking about it, so I came up He's with trying not to get friends. Yeah, I I came up with randomly generated metaverse avatar. I came up <sighs> I with the answer to the question of what if uh, Argon Tar- Targaryen spent spring break in Cancun. <laughs> and, <laughs> yeah. and, and if put that thing down yeah, exactly <laughs> and and speaking of which if travis barker cheated on courtney with kim and their love baby grew up to be chet hanks that was <laughs> 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 he would never do that he's a all of those are winners uh who also just started a run club i don't know if anybody knew that travis barker started a run club did he really proceed <laughs> yeah wow all right well good for him mortality is a real apropos thing. Okay, Mort. All right, Mort, you were so, saying apple. apple oh, go ahead, Morton. No, I want you to go ahead. I don't want to k- keep you guys back. Okay. Okay. Well, you did earlier, but yep. that's fine. That was fun, though. <laughs> okay. So as I mentioned earlier, the crew scored four. Mars four. run through mm-hmm. the first one in the fifteenth minute. All right, and for this one, I'm going to throw to Haas. Fifteenth <laughs> <laughs> minute goal for Cucho. Crew's first corner kick is taken by Rossi, played to the edge of the six-yard box where Cucho is able to get in front of his defender towards the near post Edging. and flick the shot on towards the back post and in. That was great. Yeah. Beautiful. I felt it's like I would like... never see that kind of goal ever again. <laughs> so, yeah, and I was just going to say, how <laughs> awesome would the replay of this goal have been if it would have stood? Yeah. That would have been the, the best thing ever. Yes. Like, what was it? Ten minutes later, it was the exact same. No, it was. Four, it was. Yeah. This was in what was the minute? Fourteenth minute. Fifteenth minute, and the next one was in the like the 29th minute. It was like 29th, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. It, two times to let a guy that is five foot nine go in and win a ball in the middle of the box. That's yeah, beautiful. shots fired. Well, we were playing a USL team from Tur- Toronto. A very so. expensive a USL. Very team. expensive. Who has powdered wigs? So. All right, we close out the half at one nothing with the crew not capitalizing on multiple chances. Um, second half, crew with the goal in the 52nd from Ramirez. Haas, break this one down. 
Matan loses control of the ball at midfield and the ball gets deflected out wide left to Arfston. Arfston drops it to Cucho on the wing, who brings the ball down to the left side, plays the ball into the box on the ground. Ramirez is able to receive the ball around the penalty spot with his back to goal, turns, shoots with his right foot. The ball deflects off of Marshall Ruddy and into the net. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Dude, Ramirez is just the man. No. Uh, the Yeah, he is. But the buildup. Again, who who started on the left side? On, with this, yeah, the, Maxi. Maxi. Oh, my God. Flash in the pan, Miguel Berry, <laughs> who is nothing like Miguel Berry. And <laughs> he's been, phenomenal padding, soccer he's player. been padding his stats like recently. It's ridiculous. Yeah. All right, we will get back yeah. to that, I'm sure. Yeah. He just, man. Yeah, go ahead. He made Bernadeski look like All right. Bernadeski. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he started the game looking totally different, but it was, <laughs> he just, we didn't so, notice him until after he met Max. Crew, <laughs> crew continued to apply the pressure into the 81st, and it paid off. Pause, break this one down. It's a goal for Farsi. Nagby passes the ball out wide to Arfston, who puts a move on his defender on the left side and cuts in and lays the ball off to Cucho. He takes a touch and gets his head up and to find Ramirez across the field and plays him into the box on the right side. Ramirez slows up with the ball, plays across towards the back post to Rossi. He gets up, heads the ball back towards the middle to a waiting Farsi who gets his head on the ball and puts it past Sean Johnson. Beautiful. Beautiful yeah. circus time. And Farsi's exactly where he should be. <laughs> <laughs> right in the middle of the field inside the six-yard box. Like, Mort's doing the chirping thing. Yeah, yeah, he's on the bird wagon. He's been listening. Yep. <laughs> I know what accent he has. What kind of bird? If it's a big tit, I don't know. It's I a great tit. It is. It's a great take. <laughs> a big tit. A big tit is a hippopotamus. <laughs> the... <laughs> The large, the largest in the tit family is the. Big it's a tit. great big tit. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> All right, eighty second yeah. minutes of watching. I'm so, I'm tit. so. Oh, I'm hey, no birds. hey, quick shout on the on the yeah. George Washington wig thing. I, I was thinking about that guy's vibe for so long today. Yeah. <laughs> and I can't believe I didn't think of the powder. It's wig. revolutionary. Yeah. Oh, dude. Yeah, yeah, he's on the wrong team, dude. It hurt. Oh, he's most to find a Boston hurt. market now. <laughs> no kidding, red coat. Oh, good stuff. Um, correction to last week's pod. The one on West Broad Street is closed, as we found out the other day. No. We should buy it. Yeah. For free. <laughs> buy, buy it for free. Uh, <laughs> we'll work we something out. We shop Kroger to it's give the, the people the, the cost history. of the copy of a key. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 80-second minute, Zawadki comes in for Ramirez. Jones comes in for Marrera. And both of these subs were pivotal and made an impact on the game. Nancy definitely nailed it on this one. And then in the 85th minute, here comes Cirque du Soleil with the music playing. The biggest joke of a club in the Eastern Conference showed their true colors. Haas break this one down. Yeah. Cirque du Soleil. Yeah, this was wow. 85th minute goal for Rossi. Crew play out of the back and get the ball to Derek Jones, who dribbles with the ball down the middle of the pitch. And just after half field, plays a ball on the ground towards Rossi. The ball deflects off the back heel of Rosted and bounces up and over him awkwardly. Uh, he ends up taking a swing at it and missing as the ball gets to Rossi just outside the six-yard box where he just pokes it past Sean Johnson. Sir, this is actually based out of uh, Toronto, isn't it? So it's a good call. Good shout. Ole! Oh, wow. Do we have a uh, Cirque Stat du Soleil for this? <laughs> <laughs> well, there was some Sorry. Cirque Stat this weekend. So, yep. that's that what I'm asking. Was, I mean, good for the crew for playing the ball, good for Rossi for finishing it, but wow, what? that was terrible. What? It's <laughs> exactly what I thought was going to happen. Yes. <laughs> Derek Jones is like just ping it off people, like nailed it. Yeah, so 88th <laughs> minute saw a crew make three more subs with Henestrosa coming in for Rossi, Taha coming in for Matan, Yaboa coming in for Farsi. Um, game finished 4 nothing. With the win, Columbus approves 11-3-6 and, and moves up to third and east, but continues to have two games in hand. Crew with the league best plus 22 in goal differential and 15-1 and one over the last four games. Incredible. And expected goals were 1.9. 
I mean, the last one it was makes, probably I'm zero. Sorry. Like, did you I, expect that? I was like, I did not expect that I did that not at expect all. that. No, I don't you think Ro- Rossi didn't expect it. And, you know, <laughs> he's just, he just he just capitalized on it. Um, yeah, let's 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 uh, let's take a break. the The goal differential um, was great. It was almost as high as the goal differential from the Cincy Miami game. Uh, what do you think our XG for goal differential is? I think it's like twelve. XG probably. differential. XG, XG differential. I did not expect <laughs> that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you want to do a uh, Cirque stat now? This is Steve Cirque, and this is a Cirque stat. Per hashtag Crew ninety six communication. Shout out to fellow numbers nerds at Rob Crew PR. The crew's plus 14 goal differentials in the last four matches is not only obviously the club record, but has only been topped twice in MLS history. Mm. Philly had separate stretches of plus 17 and plus 15 in 2022. Mm. Yeah, That's impressive. Team. From to the MLS Cup, too, in 2022. Mr. Rob Crew. All right. Well, let's, uh, let's break here. And when we come back, we'll do thoughts and players. We'll be right back. This episode of the Upper 90 Club is brought to you, as always, by Supporter Supply Company. Hi, friends. This is your good pal, Morgan Hughes, here to talk to you about a serious issue facing 96% of all crew supporters in Columbus. Why, not enough free shipping, of course. For a limited time, now through the eventual heat death of the universe, Upper 90 Club listeners can use the promo code UPPER90BOYS. That's boys with a Z on the end at checkout for free delivery on absolutely any order over $10. But Morgan, what if I order $10 worth of stickers or those goddamned buttons or some other combination of small items that make you want to kill yourself? Will the free shipping still apply then, even as you curse our family while you package up our little tiny annoying ass order for us? (laughs) Of course it will. That's just how much we here at Supporter Supply value our friends at the Upper 90 Club. So head on over to supportersupply.co and use the promo code UPPER90BOYS, that's boys with a Z, at checkout for free shipping on all your orders over $10. And don't forget to tell them that your friends at the Upper 90 Club sent ya. All right, we're back. Uh, and I, I'm i sorry that I don't do this more often. Thanks, Morgan. Apology accepted. Thanks, Morgan. When I listen back, I kind of, you know... We don't hear the ad here, but I uh, I rocked my Capybara's uh, jersey just a couple days Your ago. Jesus, I look Capybara Jesus. Yeah, I, I looked great. Uh, it's all thanks to Morgan. So <laughs> go to Supporter yeah. Supply. Um, okay, let's uh, let's get into thoughts of players. Thoughts and players. Okay, guys. So. Uh, First thought, I, I think we want to talk about Matan being in the middle in the Toronto game. When I saw that, I was a little worried about Zawadzki. I was kind of audibly uh, just alone, like, oh, oh, no, 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 no. When <laughs> yeah. Zawadzki was down on that. Uh, the replay, yeah, yeah, for those, I don't know if you guys saw it. You guys saw it live, so you didn't see it. But the replay, I was like, oh, no, like. Yeah, it looks like his I leg was snapped. extremely, extremely concerned because we were just talking about how well he is filling in or you know stepping in for Morris, and then uh, the thought of him having some kind of like serious long term injury was uh, very troubling. It seems like he uh, was okay, and I, I mean, we saw him tear down the field later in later in that game. Yeah. Um. So that put that to rest. Although when we saw Matan starting the next game, I I couldn't help but wonder if if there was something lingering. Maybe not. I don't know. It's just two game. Week, I but. I think it's rotation. Yeah. And yeah. and I think the fact that Toronto has no midfield presence at all. Yeah. So you actually, I was no thinking about it for a second. I was thinking like, man, we leaving ourselves exposed in the middle. No, we're not. They have like seriously nobody. With any mm-hmm. like drive he or was presence like, in the middle field, and he was like constantly up in the channels. Yeah. Like that's where he was receiving the ball. So I wonder if it wasn't just like, yeah, we're gonna beat this team for nothing. So yeah. I mean, I'm just gonna run out this guy who can like connect in the channels. And I thought it worked really well. I didn't get a chance to rewatch the game, but live, he was just finding himself on an island out by Arston, like 
over half the game. It was like him and Arston coming down the left side, and it was just like Bernadeski getting burnt. Just like, yep. Burn to desky. Just burnt to deskies. Tried to move to the other side, didn't help him. So, so yeah. Uh, yeah, I think I, it, I think it was a fine fit for this game. Uh, I think remains to be seen how readily we're gonna. No, we put won't him see that. Middle. You won't see right. that very much. Yeah, especially not against LA upcoming. Yep. Yeah. Not like at all. they've got. Yeah, but I mean. It was it was good to see. it was it's it, I always kind of wanted to see that like those three up top with Matan underneath trying to connect little yeah. dribbly boy, yeah. And for the most part, it worked pretty well. I mean, I I don't know if it's I I think it is the whoever that wasn't it the uh, Tigres coach that coined him dribbly boy was it Tigres or Monterey. I somebody it was during yeah, yeah somebody dr- coined him the the dribbly boy. And uh, uh, now, when I see him with the ball, I feel like I'm, I'm my expectations for dribbliness have have risen. You know, like my problem is I'll <laughs> see it and he'll pass it, and I'll be like, "Could have dribbled." More. Yeah, <laughs> that's like my. I don't know why it's the first thing I thought. I'm like, whenever he gets it, I start going dribble, 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 dribble. Yeah, yeah, dribble. yeah. Like, like, that's what I'm saying. This, like weird thing, saying. and then he yeah. passes it. I'm like, ah oh, man, he could have done some dribble, 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 dribble. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, know. so you mentioned Arston, uh, and I I want to talk about Arston. I will just mention that just a second ago, while we were talking about uh, Matan, Mort's son Finn hopped in, and did he give you a sandwich, Mort? Yeah, I think it's some uh, pork and some cheese and a bun. It's pretty. Okay. Good. <laughs> okay. What? Thanks, Finn. <laughs> yep. Thanks, Finn. Finn is a true, true crew fan. Crew. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's. I've seen yeah. I've seen some of his uh some of his shade takes. Uh oh and, my uh, goodness. <laughs> he's he's I hope that I get to hang with him at some game soon because he's well, he won he some like you can have him anytime you want. I'll send him <laughs> He up. won some like haircut <laughs> if contest. If you want to have this like, sun experience, yeah. <laughs> take him for two yeah. days and you'll be like, Yeah, know. this is this is something. You can take him back now. <laughs> Uh, okay, so uh, let's Skibbity talk about toilet. <laughs> Skibbity <laughs> toilet. I really like that song, and I think I might be in the. I'm definitely in the adult minority on that. Haas has no idea. He's shaking his no head. No idea like, what. You're yeah, talking dude, I got. About. It's not Wilco. I, I I'll tell you that. No idea. <laughs> it's, it's not yeah, Bell and Sebastian. <laughs> yeah, it's not broken social scenes. So take it easy. Yeah. Uh, Not signed to saddle the saddle creeks. All right. Before we talk about Arfson, is there anything else that we want to say to to cut down Haas? Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, man. How much time do we have? <laughs> all right. Arfson, uh, he's... We keep talking about the, the front three and the strength of the front three. I feel like he's he's got his wagon hitched to them, and he's making it a foursome, a fab four up front. Oh my um, God. Yeah. Force him is not he what is you want. Yeah. Playing at a level now that is ridiculous. And yeah. I, second half, he had that like, re, like he stepped over the ball. He did, the, he did the Maradona people, between like, two guys. Yeah. Two. And the confidence on him, I, I, I was saying it during the game because it's kind of like a Ben thing. It's kind of like, how does he walk with those balls, you know? Yeah, um, dude. But, <laughs> but I, I, when we saw him at the signing night, I said, like, hey, I think you've been phenomenal the last couple of games. You've been you've been on fire, loving it. And then, but the, just the last couple, la, the last couple <laughs> of games. He, no, but, but I'm here to talk to you about before that. Yeah. No, but and I talked to some guys over there, and they hate you, <laughs> and they don't like your hair. But he stepped, guys he stepped me? it up, and <laughs> Bernadette like Desky, he was, he they switched sides, so he will be on the left side because he was being dominated. He was being dominated by yeah. yeah. By, First by, ten by seconds Mike. of the game, he got taken out by Bernadeski and Uncle didn't call it. I lost my mind, like right in front, like right on the corner of the box. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. he beat Bernadeski and he just like just went through him and he was like, I think he pointed at the ball. God, it was too, it was too soon. Ooh. Yeah, well, that's not an excuse. It was but but oh man, he he's playing at a level right now where I'm getting a little worried. I'm kind of starting calling for like maybe we should. There's another uh, Ben thing. We should put some money, money under his name, and and make sure we tie him up for a little bit longer. 
Is, yeah. Do you think he's the starter? Like that's his spot now? Yeah. Or it's his spot to the, lose. The drop Zimmer, off to your right? bow now, the yeah. way he's playing is is big. I did I mean, not Yeboah believe hasn't I was yeah, started but, yeah. since the 25th of June against Miami. And, and you put him on the left, and in the end, you know what they did? They boot, moved Bernardeschi over to the other side. You know what we did? We moved Max over to the other side. Oh, did we? Oh, yeah, yes, we, I guess we did. We did. I mean, Yuboa came on second half at Nashville and got the assist. Yeah, like, he's still no. He's he's the, the fact he is a different can, player, which is good. Yeah, we we have so many people who can get off from the from the bench right now, which is great. But I I would say if it wasn't Rossi, by the way, at the stadium, the player of the game was Kucho, which I it's just a default I think at the stadium right now because it should have been yeah. Rossi. And if it wasn't Rossi, yeah. it probably should have been actually Max. I know that Kutcher had a goal and assist or whatever else, but Max was phenomenal. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm this really kind of impressed. Spe- yeah, I I keep thinking because I wrote down in our notes, I'm like, so he is a out and out like striker number nine, or maybe even like a false nine. And he's been moved out wide. And I don't wonder if that's Nazi's thing, because now with wingbacks a lot of people convert fullbacks to wingbacks and not a lot of people convert strikers to wingbacks right yeah. so i don't wonder if like he uses farsi out on the right because that's all we have but i'm pretty sure az when he comes in he is a definitely a more attacking player and but i he'll think probably he play will, goalie. he'll play goalie yeah, yeah. <laughs> two goalies those goalies <laughs> no i just don't wonder if that's like what he does now as he goes he switches over and we look for people that are more strike like striking oriented to play those outside back roles. What's uh where's Will Sands mm. in the depth chart here? Is he behind is he on that same Ooh. side behind you, Boa? He was a that I mean, is he so was weird. A, That's a good point. Is he still hurt though? No. No. He wasn't I mean he came back from this that. is this North is no, 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 no. yeah, yeah. I, I, I know, know I know it takes it takes a lot of time to get back from the injuries, and he had a couple yeah, of sure. a, a couple of games he did not. Especially how fast we're moving. Great, but it was even his birthday. I was expecting to see him today, not like the other day. I should say, oh, see yeah. him on Saturday. He was subbing everybody, and he's like, "Who wants to go in?" Oh yeah, he was on the bench. Yeah, he was <laughs> on the bench. It was his birthday, yeah. and he did, he didn't come on. And Dang. it blows my mind because when Nancy first came in, the player that stood out of the it was, old, it was yeah, him. It was and he never really come back from that. Yeah, I guess the question I would have is, is it a situation of other guys are playing better or is he just not up to their level kind of scenario? Like, is he playing bad or are other people just playing better? He's, and he just hasn't gotten young. the time. Um, yeah. I mean, I, I'm not yeah. trying yeah, to put him Arfson's, on yeah. Arfson's, you know, like I mentioned earlier, he's padding his stats left and right. Um, Yeboah's falling off a little bit, but he's still playing well. Farsi, he's doing Farsi. Did anybody else see how Farsi was defending the other day? Like, like I, I, he looked like a, like a praying mantis or something. Like, he was just hopping back and forth in front of somebody. <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Know. Like understand the technique. I thought Prey Mantis was pretty slow until they're faced. Now when they, now when they attack. You yeah, know what I mean? when they attack, there's... Yeah. I don't wonder if Henestrosa wouldn't be a decent converted wing, wing back. <laughs> okay. You don't wonder? I don't think he wants to play defense. <laughs> well, sure no, I know, but look. neither does Max. You know what I mean? He's right-footed. He like, you know, whenever he's in, he like hangs out far right. I just don't wonder if like... Stop wondering. Wouldn't it be, Everyone else, stop look. wondering. Ben, stop. <clears throat> ben doesn't wonder. start wondering. <laughs> Maybe I I wonder. Uh, let's let's talk about the top three. Well, we're definitely the, in the best top three. The crew is so. Oh, wow. What that. is have I'm we sorry. have we ever had a better top three than we have right now? No, no. Yeah. I think that's no. that safe no. to say. And, right? and all the all the questions we had about Rossi in the past. Because I I don't know I mean I I will still sit here and say that his uh, I I don't have know have you I seen him sprint after the ball yes the way he sprints yes. after the I'm, ball is I'm not talking about the last like half dozen games but before that and into like last season whenever he joined the team 
we had questions about his impact. Yep. Um, Most return on investment kind of thing. Like, yeah, good player, but you know, we did, you know, DP slot kind of thing. But um, man, is he, he is up there. As you said more, was he not the player? Should he not have been the player of the match? He should, he's definitely. I guess Toronto. Yeah. 100%. Mm-hmm. We were shocked. Even for the people, I know that, I don't know who's voting for these things during the game, whatever else, but... Uh, stupid question. Who got it? Kucho. 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 Of course. It's yeah, Kucho okay. every game. You know, when well, we like, play in the Rossi, stadium, it's like... The last, the last several games, though, he has just been... He has been as as important as Kucho. And then, yeah, you add Ramirez in there, who's who's scored... Also like, scoring every in game. each game. This week, so many goal scorers yeah. over but the last few games. Did we yeah. talk about this a couple of weeks back? Ramirez coming back is huge. huge. He's got his 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 football IQ is great for this team, and his willingness to be yes, he's like a striker, but the, his willingness to work and doing all the dirty work at the same time that he is. The, the cross he puts in there to to Rossi when he heads it back to Farsi and the goal. It's mm, it's excellent. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, you like switch positions with yeah, Farsi and the, the for rotation that. of the front three. I don't think anybody else in MLS. I just think well, they had that well, anything Austin. like that. He had that cross last week. Uh, Maybe New England, where he he crossed it to Cucho, who deferred to Rossi, who who scored also. Yeah. Right. I, I, one thing we talk about during the games is. Constantly, how frustrating must it be to play against this team? It's like it's wave so after wave after wave. Every, every any time the Toronto like think they had a breather and turn around and try to turn around with the ball, there's like a yellow jersey right on somebody's back, and they then set they it take on possession the and then just own the ball for the next couple of minutes, and you run they, and you run. They set it run. on the call. I think it was maybe right before the second goal. And I don't know if this was dramatization or what, but like Bernadeschi looking at the bench and being like, what are we supposed to do well, with this team? Yeah, I will tell him one thing. That's a whole different discussion. The fact that to have a DPs that cares and DPs that collect the money. Yes. Toronto has DPs that collect the yeah. money and they step up. Bernadeschi had a couple of moments where he just shows how freaking good he is. It was a yeah, couple of times. Is. One time he just floated through the line. He, he beat Max. The one time he beat Max, he made it look easy. And it, it made it look like when he really cared about, I guess, the, the, the team or himself or was it his ego or whatever it was, he looked phenomenal. But these guys don't look like the guys that are like, hey, we are part of the team. I'm here to like take my experience and lift the team. I've been in the Champions League. Cha- uh, I, well, yeah. They won the Champions League. Bernadeschi has won the Champions League, right? I'm pretty sure he won with with Juventus. Juve, yeah. And he is not the kind of guy that takes the team. It's like I got to carry it forward. I have all the expertise. He's like, no, I'm me, and I'm going to collect my money. I'm going to play my ball, and every now and then I'm going to show you, so they will continue to pay me. But I feel like they give nothing to the team as a whole. They seem like two separate entities on that team. Way above everybody else. What's well, been like that for forever? Yeah, I mean, the other thing is like our team is li- like our front three know exactly where each other's at at all yes. times. Like it, that. That's just, and that comes with ju- I don't know, just playing together. I mean, and look I think how much the frustration is. Yeah, yeah. There's also oh, yeah. a lot that's going on. Like, um, uh, Cucho's first goal, he sprints over. And Hagen runs onto like the field, and they give each other yes. a big hug and laugh. I saw and that. It has to be an inside joke, but it's like your star player and your third string go. goalkeeper have like an inside joke. Like this is the best. Everybody's friends again yeah. and having a good time. Like and they can make fun of somebody show. for like literally running like a a T Rex, and the it becomes T-Rex. like. And, and I don't think we co- is, yeah. and we have to cover this too because we talk about Kucho and and the team. As a leading player, Taha got picked on by the yes. giant. Again, we're getting that right? to reading the internet. Let's, let's do that now. Yeah. Let's jump over to uh, the internet. Yeah. 
Okay, so you were saying more about Cucho jumping in. Uh, at, I think it was at the end of the game. We've mentioned it a couple times so far. Um, who's got that tweet pulled up from Brianna? I got it. She said she, on X, uh, Brianna McKay said she asked Cucho what happened here. He explained how his mm-hmm. actions were because of the way Mabika was pushing Taha Habrun during slash after the full play. Full answer. Uh, quote, I just said to him, the other player, the Toronto player, Makimba, or uh, Mabika. Pronunciations brought to you by the idiots of Upper 90 Club. That Taha's 18 years old. So I said to him, why you did that? <laughs> Which I love. <laughs> and he says, and it's just that. We have to be together in bad moments and good moments. So we are a family and we have to show it. So, I mean, you got, like I said, you we got your... Mabika family. was, he's seven foot uh, 12. <laughs> he's, that, yeah. he's big. Something like that. <laughs> he is a big yeah. dude. And you got uh, Taha down there, like, I don't know. A little guy and, from Westerville. And, and then Kucho jumped in. And he's like, you know, maybe if he jumped on Taha's shoulders, he could have had a conversation. But <laughs> um, Yeah, but does anybody else have, like, a crew two player who's 18 that gets subbed in and gets fouled and your multi-million dollar star... Like runs up and yeah. like no. backs him up. No, they don't. Like they no, don't. Like Bernadette Bernadette would, would that. not He'd be give smoking a cigs sh- in the corner, blasting heaters. <laughs> oh, sorry, yeah. I, I bleep. I, yeah, he. Yeah, they just don't. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. Like everybody has bought in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To to Nazi and like the other thing I, I I didn't put on the dock that I wanted to talk about was while this has been kind of frustrating the last couple of games, whenever we get fouled or there's like some call that is absolute dog crap, we don't argue anymore. Like Rossi's not in the refs here. Nobody argues. We just get up and play our game. And every other team we play, and that's for better or for worse. I'm like, I mean, like when Max got fouled, he got up and he like threw his hands up and he like ran back. But normally people would like run and be like, dude, what do you, like, what is the problem? Whatever. I just wonder if that's not like a Nazi thing where he's like, Hey, play the game. Let me worry about the refs. You I, guys just stay focused. I think it's, that it's, applies for most, but not Rossi still. <laughs> he's still talking. I didn't every, see him. I didn't see him. Not, talking not, to not to against Toronto, but against Nashville, he were definitely out there talking a lot. I mean, it used to be a problem with him though. Yes. Yeah. Like constantly but chirping no one, at the like, ref. So. Aiden and Nagby never do, and they get fouled all the time. Zawa's the same way, getting fouled, eh, just gets up. Introverts. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> well, that's we said it earlier uh, before we started just uh, trashing on him, but that's what got Bernadeski his his yellow before half. Um, well, he blew half on a, a corner, corner kick. kick. Yeah. <laughs> Which I'm pretty sure isn't a FIFA thing, but like... <laughs> it happened. It happens. And they were already before the corner kick way above the... Yeah, they were above yeah, the thing. Yeah, 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 but And he yeah. literally yeah. said yeah. one yeah. thing. Yeah. So, yeah. But he pointed to his captain's armband like, yo, this is... I'm the one that's supposed to complain right. about this. So don't card me. I'm just asking or like whatever. Yeah. But he got the card right away. But again, it could have been because of his stupid hair. Uncle, though. <laughs> uncle was... Uncle was pretty uncle. Uh, yeah, but I would, hold on, I would I would notice that notice this thing about Uncle. The last two games, sorry, the last two ahead. games, Uncle have been at Lower dot com. He's been terrible for the other team. Yeah, yeah. Well, they called back that uh, the goal. I just want to talk about for it was the, out of bounds. No, yeah. no, no, no. Our goal. No, no, no. Not our goal. Where, oh, where yeah. Etienne got leveled by uh, Moreira. Yep, and they called picked. it like a you know, like a pick, like he played the player, but at, oh, yeah. what I thought was, I mean, it is what it is. The call was, and they called it back. What I thought was funny was that uncle went to the VAR and he watched it for a while. And then a player for Toronto came over to complain mm-hmm. and he's like, go away. And then he, I, I mean, if you watch a replay, he like, he has left the VAR booth. And then he, with his hips pointing toward the field, looks back, and mm-hmm. like starts watching the VAR again, again, from, like, I know, six I like, feet away. It's doing? like so you decided, but then it was like maybe it was I, a FaceTime call. Am I going to do this? <laughs> I, like I don't know what that was, but is it there was anything just, I need to turn off? It was did so I did not bush. turn off the light. It, it was so bush. Like 
It's like, what are you doing, dude? It's so bad. The, uh, at, there, there's the video at the end of the game. Uh, Marrera swapped jerseys with Etienne, and Cucho comes up and like grabs him, hit, like Etienne's neck, and starts like saying he like making fun of him for diving. For yeah, <laughs> like it's like, yeah. I mean, my that thing is, funny. especially with that. those corner kicks, like there's always in the box, and like when they were reviewing, I'm like, listen, if there is a foul on us, if you can count three other fouls on the defensive team, just have them wash out and give us the goal. Yeah. Because there's any time there's a corner kick, it's a scrum in the box. Like, you can pick anything to, like, make a goal go away if yeah, you really I, I, wanted to. I mean, it was got, a guys, I mean, I guys, get it. But you guys covered it, I'm sure, weak. but uh, the, uh, the uh, disallowed goal for Toronto. Nashville. No, for Toronto, when it was the the corner kick, I thought it was yeah. like he made up a foul because it shouldn't be a corner kick. Same, but it, but I from what I out. heard, it went out of bounds. Yeah, he kicked it out. It was it was yeah. a in out swinger, so he like kicked it out of bounds and it came back right, in and then right. they scored. And it's like well, for you also it out, in the dude. stadium, it was I was like I have no idea what it was called. Yeah, yeah. no idea. Yeah, I was just screaming at Uncle. <laughs> yeah, I was too. <laughs> <laughs> That's as soon brain. as that happened, I was like. Oh, I don't even scream uncle. I cool. just scream. Yeah, they think you. They think that you've had enough, <laughs> right? They think you've had enough, uncle. Uh, what else is on the internet? <laughs> Kumite uh, from Reddit. Um, it is Quartz Marshall. He said, "What's most beautiful is how Nazi has truly built a complete team here. We lose Zellerayan, no problem. We lose Aiden, no problem. Think about that. So the reason why I brought that up is." I constantly am worried about everybody leaving. And I get like really anxious yeah, about like, effects. oh, we're just going to get everybody. But it is something that, you know, like we we lose Zelly, we win the league. And then uh, we lose Aiden and we're, we're just on this tear right now. And it's like, maybe we are okay. Maybe it is like, mm, it's you early. know, like. It's early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I do think it. it We've been playing. It will show when we play LAFC teams. and like these really good. Teams. Yeah, I know. That's the that's <laughs> they the other caveat. got to buy this week because the game got canceled. But we're playing like bad teams, but we're like beating them by multiple goals. Bad. So it's not yeah. it's not like it's like a one zero or two zero or like you know what Sensi does. Like they win all their games by one goal. It's like yeah. Oh, like we've we been fifteen and one in the past yeah. four. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I don't know what yeah, happened point. with that, but. <laughs> that was a weird thing. Uh, yeah, no, but I'm with you, man. I'm with you. Um, we have e- it's just it's more than mind. it's more than a single player, and um, and we have way more depth than we did this time last year, where we were, um, you know, playing anyone with a pulse on the back line. Yes, we have a complete back line, one of the best in the league. I know, crazy. Yeah, who would have thought? <laughs> Not, not me. <laughs> nope. Anything else uh, from the internet, Ben? Nope. Those are the only two things on the internet. Oh, great. Okay. Nothing well, let's break internet. here. Uh, when we come back, uh, you're going to give us a Crew 2 update, right? Let's see. We'll be right back. Ta-da! Hello. Adam Hernandez here. Fellow crew fan and Columbus-based artist, muralist, and designer. When I'm not making art, I'm looking at art. And when I'm looking at art, I want it to come to life. That's why I made my new augmented reality prints. What's an augmented reality print, you may ask? Well, I make my really cool psychedelic art come to life in the palm of your hand. Check out my website, ahernandezart.com or at ahernandezart to learn more. They're really rad. Ahernandezart. All right, we're back. Hey, uh, so Bird is uh, flown the coop this week. Uh but Ben is going to stand in. Yeah, his kid was Don't. little baby bird got sick. So, so what happened with the crew two this week, Ben? Yeah. Uh, well, it just happened today. If anybody was paying attention, um, I watched the game. Ended up two two. They we had some we had some pretty good possession. We had some really good Nazi ball stuff. None the goals weren't Nazi ball, but like <laughs> like some of that mid part of the game was just like. It was just beautiful. But we we gave a foul away in the 86th minute, and they had an absolute banger to like tie it 2-2. And so as it does in MLS Next Pro, they went to PKs, and mm. it went to like eight PKs or something like that. And then um, our keeper ended up saving the last one, so we salvaged two points. But it was... Who, who did we play? We played Toronto. Toronto. Okay. okay. 
Toronto Dose. But um, yeah, I I don't have any of the standings or any of the the fun bird stuff. But I did get to watch like I think right like sixty minutes and stuff. And the end of the game was pretty good. We scored I think with eighty four in the eighty fourth minute. So I was like, oh, we got this two one. And then we gave up a silly foul right outside our box, and this guy put away. The only thing is, one of the Toronto guys during their celebration took out our corner flag, threw it on the ground, and started stomping on it. <laughs> and nothing happened. I was like, that no, that's, seems that's, aggressive. That's one of those uh, innovative things that they're doing in that league. It's like it's, a TikTok. Yeah. Is it a TikTok y? <laughs> yeah. You can the score TikTok, a corner you can, flag. You can get a half a goal if you can do that it without oh, anyone. That's, that's one of the new rules. You. Yeah. <laughs> if, you can, yeah. if you can stomp it 17 times without being pantsed, you get a half yeah. a goal. And you have to say the entire Greek alphabet <laughs> from back to her. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Makes perfect sense. Okay. All yeah. right. Now, now I don't feel so bad. They did a pretty good job. All right. Thanks, Benny Bird. But, um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right. Well, I want to do a, a quick shout out for our run club. Um, we started it last week. Uh, we've got, uh, let's see, 15 members now. Whoa. So yeah, uh, that's it's, pretty it's, awesome. It's yeah, tip of the hat to uh, to the Upper 90 Run Club. Yeah, uh, and I said straight up, if if anybody beats Stacy on a weekly basis, is she going on vacation soon? I'm worried she's going to like have a week off, and I'm just going to. No, she's always been scoping out a place to run in Portugal. So there you go. Uh, okay. I, but I, I have a feeling, okay. Greg, Greg, Greg Maves. Yeah. So that's what I wanted to do. A, a shout out to Greg. Greg wins the uh, the listener mileage for the week at forty. Yeah, because Stacy doesn't 40 listen. Even. <laughs> Stacy doesn't listen. No, <laughs> Stacy doesn't listen. She is, but she's she's the she president. Ran she ran thirty 50, on fifty seven, and she 57 put up thirty miles on Friday. Is, yeah. Yeah, on Friday she ran yeah. thirty, didn't you? Like straight and then up ben, thirty. Ben, yeah, you you uh, the put up the, the most day. miles among us at just shy of twenty nine. Yeah, you so, have to understand when your wife goes out age. and run thirty miles in the morning, <laughs> you do age. some heavy <laughs> lifting for the rest of the day. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, no doubt, no doubt. That Dude, it's like kind, I, kind of redefining. It's a cheap date. It nauseous. makes a cheap date. Don't redefining. That. Uh, yeah, that's re- true. Redefining. Uh, yeah, taking the day off. Uh, Cause y'all were off work on Friday, right? Yep, I yeah. was. Well, anyway, yep. uh, it's awesome, Friday. awesome to have uh, everybody join in, and so uh, yeah, keep folks uh, joining. If you if you know anyone who wants to, any listeners who want to join, we hit two hundred and eight miles last week as a group. Yeah, so yeah. Gonna, look at you guys go. We're that's gonna try and yeah, uh, that's not even man. Two, that's that's that, like that's two the weeks. bar. That's like this. Are we gonna go for the upper nine hundred club? Yeah. Oh. Well, well, we were like, let's do upper ninety, and then Stacy's like, I'll join. I was like, okay, <laughs> well, 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 I guess 9, we won't do <laughs> <Yeah>. that. <laughs> okay, well, let's let's then start. Greg joins, this, and I'm like, now I really can't. By the way, it. I don't think it's been mentioned in this conversation. Yeah, I sent out a tweet, and we yeah. seen like seven people. Yeah. S T R A V A. Yeah. yeah, if you're going for a walk or like you get your steps in, you get a the yard. Add it. Add it's it. free. Soccer. Add it. Three dollars. It's free. Yeah. Yeah. Soccer is. Uh, Two miles. Yeah, just log yeah. it. Log yep. it as a run. Okay. Um, let's. No, 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 no. Whoa, whoa. That's shade being thrown. It is a run. I'm running. It I'm not. That wasn't not shade. Yeah, that, that wasn't is, shade. That is also true. I, no, I'm <laughs> giving people practical advice to get credit for the work they're doing. <laughs> Dude, Tracy scored five goals last game. Like four. Bananas. It was four. It was four. No, it was five. We counted. Everybody said okay. five. Okay. I, All right. I, I dodged my head oh my to be God. smashed in by Trace corner kick, but that's another. I had. Yeah, you. I went total turtle on a corner kick. That <laughs> total, could, turtle. A total, total turtle. Total turtle. Yes. <laughs> team, that's your turtle. new team. Name. Turtle. The best part was it, like, he, ducked, turtle, that. he ducked and then looked behind him like it was aimed at somebody else. Yeah, I was like, who was that for? <laughs> who do you hate so much? Me? Uh, it was for <laughs> the action some, figure of yourself that was placed and I said, on the field behind no, you. No, <laughs> I already have brain damage. Thank you. Yeah, yeah they say forgiveness is divine, but never <laughs> pay like, full price for late pizza. Yeah, more it's like, I have no padding. No, <laughs> no, no. no. Yeah. Okay. Anywho, uh, let's Anywho. Uh, let's take a look at the tables. Tables. Just tables. 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 I can't know how to hear any more about tables. Currently in the East, we've got Cincinnati in first place, forty-eight points, twenty-two games played. Miami in second, forty-seven points, twenty-three games played. 
our beloved crew in third with 39 points, 20 games played. Red Bull with 36 points, 22 played. NYCFC, 35 points, 22 played. Charlotte, 32 points, 22 played. Orlando, 27 points, 22 played. Nashville, 26 points, 22 played. And to round out the playoff picture, Toronto, 24 points, 23 played. Okay. Still a team. Yeah, so we said we said they were bad teams, so they are mid-table. Nashville's currently, as we speak, getting thumped by Portland. Yeah. In the first You said half. something like fourth, fourth goal in the 30th minute there. Um, but that's what the playoff picture looks like for our conference. Interesting that our goal differential, assuming that what I'm looking at here, the screenshot is current, including the Miami game that, uh, Cincinnati played our goal differential is 22. And even with the five goal padding that Cincy got from their game against Miami, their goal differential is only 16. Our sales got win by like a one. goal differential of 21. So man, since he, Okay. Bashed Miami though. Oof. Yeah. Okay. All right. So and then LAFC, who we play this weekend, is in first in the West with yeah, forty three points, twenty one played. RSL also with forty three points. The other LA team also with forty three points. So I tight think race in, up top in the West. I think if we uh, win our two, I think we have a game or two in hand for LAFC. Would be a point ahead of them with wins. Mm. They've only so played this is a pretty big game. This could be actually a very big game in terms of do you guys and so on. Do you guys know how their lineup has changed since last year? Kai Kamara, Ka- yeah, he's starting. Yeah. Chiellini's gone. Yep, right. He's Chiellini's seen him gone. Commentating. They have Buxa that runs up top with um, Their not Buxa. I'm sorry. Bogus. Three are probably the closest to get to the crew to in terms of yeah. hotness. To put it that way, you mean uh, their attract their attractiveness? Yes, that's <laughs> how we rate players no. these days. No, but I mean they're all they're all. They're all firing of all cylinders uh, yeah. right now. And Kamara started scoring the last couple of games. Like, there's no end to it. So. Okay. All right. We've seen that before. Yeah. Okay, so let's jump into our predictions table. So, obviously, everybody thought we were going to win the two games we had at home. The hickey. Yep. Uh, but, however, there is a little bit of a comeback story going on this week. As much as it, I have enjoyed this ride with Morris being on the, the very bottom. He got two in a row, back to back, perfect. Morris two and four zero. He got six points. I will notice that. Uh, I will note that Ben also got the perfect score against uh, Nashville, so he got another uh, three points. Uh, Trey got two points against Toronto because he got the correct score. However, he predicted that Toronto would score a goal. Um, that means shared number one spot is Mort and Mars. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Collusion. Yes. Dichotomy. Uh, and I can actually read the table normally this week. Excellent. <laughs> Coming in the shared second place is Trey and Ben on 16. And on 15 points, we got Haas in Total the base. Third hole. We're good ones. I mean, it's tight. It's it is tight. Toy table. Toy. How do you guys Wait, like what a, that? How do you guys like that turtle? double? Double perfect. Double came from the basement and um, yeah. the elevator or whatever up. This was Kevin McAllister just like going from the basement to the clubhouse, zip line over to the neighbor's house. It's like I think that was a his first. mistake. That's a fourth of, Ju- club first. fourth of July's rocket six point week. Woo. Wow, Woo. back to back. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's like a um, you no. Know, I believe in myself. Proud of you. Okay. Um, I think that's enough fan. Wait, what are you guys at? We're at how's that 15? We're at 16. You guys are at 17. What? 17. Oh man, it's insane. Toit. Okay, we're I like these new rules, it keeps it very 
toy. Team. Yeah, it's very uh, MLS Next Pro of us. <laughs> Yes. Adding silly, silly, but silly who, snakes. Who will stomp the flag this week? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, a guy uh, from Toronto. Uh, Shut okay. him in a card. All right. Are you guys ready to uh, lay it out for LAFC? No, that's going to take a little bit. Well, we talked about them. Before we do this, um, we, ha- we talked a little bit about them, but what's also their uh, form, Haas? Do you have that? Yes, they recently beat the other L.A. team 2-1. They beat Colorado 3-0. They beat San Jose 6-2. Tied Again, Austin no 1-1. Beat Orlando 3-1 and beat Dallas 1-0. Did they play Austin 1-1? Yeah, I don't know. And what? they're supposed to be playing tonight? Yeah, it's... Uh, it got it's canceled. It canceled. It canceled, I believe. True. It's fine. For yeah, because of the... And they play the in the earth. U.S. Open Cup on the 10th, and then they play us on the 13th. What's important is they play, I think, what is it, Wednesday at home That's what with, I said, yeah. against New Mexico, which is not only Micheletto, but I think there's one other crew cappy on there. Micheletto's on New Mexico, and so is... Oh, they've got those cool jerseys. Fusion? Oh, yeah. Oh, their jerseys are dope. Like Meow Wolf Galaxy. It's incredible. Man, but they're on a tear. I mean, yeah. Okay. So Orlando, and then before that, they beat Dallas. They beat Minnesota. They beat Atlanta. They beat Loudon at the Open Cup, which doesn't count. They beat St. Louis. They beat Vancouver, Las Vegas. Dude, they haven't. When was the last time they lost? To San Jose on early May. I don't see. They the date. lost to San Jose three to one. Three to one. What? Doesn't make any sense. No. Mm. Uh, okay. Whatever. And we play. This is uh, there. Away. Correct. Yes, correct. Late game. Okay. We're going to be sleepy boys. Okay, guys. Well, are you ready to uh, make your predictions? All right, let's talk about D's I, I don't know. I, I, I thought I was. You got to think about that. I'm already sweating. Man, I don't even know. Wait, I, I buckle know. up, Buttercup. My tongue is sweating. I'm not good at doing things. <laughs> You're dumb. Okay. <clears throat> All right. What, Ben? Let's Yeah, dog. All right. Ben is wow. Ben's trying to hedge. Let's start with Ben. Ben says two to one loss. F the world. That's all yeah, caps. Sorry about that. Um okay. Mort, you said one to three crew. Yeah. LA one, three crew. Yeah, I get it. We've we've yeah, talked about it. You should go this now. I I'm very yeah. I'm very no, diligent. We understand. We understand. We understand. Everybody understands. Can I tell you? Can I tell you why I hesitated? Because and for listeners, this is yeah, this is just a waste of fat waste of space. But uh, we put our names in every week, and like our names are usually different, and so it just puts your first name in, and your name in this chat is the word the. And so when I'm searching for Mort, I didn't find it, and I had to like anyway, it's one to three the real crew. Mort. Okay, the real Mort this week says one to three crew. Trey says one to tr- one to two crew. <laughs> guy. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Is there a reason? Oh, hey, you know what? Speaking of which, speaking did he of wink to your wife? I was gonna ask wink you. Asking. I was gonna ask you when Arfston. <laughs> no. If Arfston was that, I gave uh, him hardship wait, hands wait, one time wait. in traffic. Didn't he? Didn't hardship hand me back. Mm. Oh, th- seriously? Yeah, Bush Never Boulevard. Knew that. Bush Boulevard and uh, 161 by the um, continent. Wow, I'll yeah. never Heart-shaped forget. Hand me back. Yep. <laughs> Bro, heart shape and hand me back. Back. All you had to do was lift it up and put hand it down, and lift it up and put it down. Didn't do it. Tray. Would you have accepted <laughs> a single one. lift up and heart. put down, or would, would you have required, like, like would heart. you still, yeah. I mean, shape, hand me it back. probably would have done the <laughs> trick. So it would have been enough. <laughs> Here you call the episode heart shape, hand me back. <laughs> That'll be the next one. I would never okay. heart shape hand someone in the first place. <laughs> I would. Yeah. It was his thing I back in 2015. I, I always I keep. He still does. At he least still does one hand on my hand. steering wheel, so all my gestures in traffic is by <laughs> one hand and one hand only, and maybe just a finger. That's yeah. why you do half a heart. He does the other half of the heart. <laughs> yeah, that's what friends do. Out the window. Yeah. Man. Yeah, I he just put it in. What his is that car. symbol? It was a half. A, do you like, like 
like and then someone motion it, it towards him. Oh, God, what is this? <laughs> yeah. That just looks it's, like uh, half, it's not good. Yeah, it looks kind yeah. of like a you know one of these. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Of those, <laughs> oh, yeah. Everybody, while you're listening, make half a hand. Yeah, half a heart okay. and gyrate and just just pump it towards. All the person right, Haas said. Uh, <laughs> Haas said two to two. Nothing else said. I unfortunately said the same thing. <laughs> two to two. Uh, crew win lose. the day. I'm with the basement boy. Um, oh, crew win the day. They don't win the day. It's two to two. Yeah, it's just this thing we do in America. It's like a, it's a joke. Um, no, okay, I don't, get, I don't get it. I'm foreigner. Ex- please explain. Speaking of, you're flying home. You're going home. Yeah. You're yes. This is my last home. pod in like a month. Oh yeah. So oh, you, are you this dropping? Is your last pod. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. He's gonna be back. He's gonna try You're to quit the pod. I'm quitting no. the pod. The Dave more quit the. Pod. So are you leaving your wife in Portugal to run? Is yeah, that, that's what I didn't. Quite yeah. Understand. How is she yeah. running in Portugal and you are going to Norway? I've seen one Explain map, that. and Portugal feels far from Norway. That's. Are you guys doing a bunch of like? Traveling? You said she was plotting. She's not going is, to Norway. Is Portugal a city in Norway? <laughs> yes. This hurts. No. <laughs> okay. And All right, maybe. everybody, stay with us. Yes, and okay, man. and maybe Mort, uh, <laughs> you will be, you want to talk about you it. will be missed. <laughs> it's clear he does not want to talk about this. I, I, I will try to. Uh, I have to glean all of our intel report. from the Run Club <laughs> metadata. I, 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 I will, I will <laughs> get a traffic reporter. To we'll get party. to the bottom of it. <laughs> We'll get to the bottom. Mort, of you it. still haven't allowed me to follow you on Strava. So <laughs> what, what, are you, what are you talking about? <laughs> go, go to the Upper Ninety Club Strava. I'm, I'm very exclusive. Did all you pay this, me all before the you asked? Drama. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Come yeah. to your own conclusions. Strava's uh, the new Facebook. All the kids are saying it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so Mort, you are you are flying east, or I assume I hope you're flying east. Yeah, it's east. Uh, you can go west. <laughs> a long way to go but you're way. driving west, yeah. right? You're, I'm driving you're to Chicago, flying, yeah. Mars. I'm, yeah. I, I, we have to talk about this, but I'm driving to Chicago. Yeah, and, uh, I'll help you a out, A week man. from today, yep. a week from today, I'll be on the flight overseas. Okay. All right. And then Hawes, did you mention that you're also going to be out of town next week? Yes, I'm going to bring the travel mic and hopefully be sober enough to participate. Because of Coob? Oh, oh, the Coob Nationals, baby. Coob Nationals. I mean, I remember this from last year. Um, Are you ranked in the nation? No, it's Coob? just a 128-team tournament. Ironically, I'm going to Norway. Just every day. Well, well, that's what I mean. It's the biggest it? Coob tournament maybe in the world. I think it's pretty big. Is it in Norway? Uh, yes, <laughs> that's the thing. I'm going to Norway. I'm not going to play Coob. But uh, okay, all the you players just have, to, you just have to sign up in time to participate. You don't have to be good because I'm not good at Coob. Yeah, uh, don't sell yourself short. That's what they Is said about curling. Now it's an Olympic event. So true. Can uh, you imagine Haas being an Olympic athlete at Coob? I could. I could, I could very too. easily. Very easily. <laughs> yeah. Could you imagine? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I'm gonna. Yeah. Sorry. I'm okay. thinking about it right now. All right. So. Uh, to the I extent that we can, we will include you guys next week. Um, I hope you can join us. Otherwise, uh, safe travels. Um, great to come off a uh, double win week. We'll see how we do back on our uh, away performance. We've done well in the last couple of months. Uh, but LAFC, they have uh, an axe to grind with us. So... Yeah. Um and I don't we don't play them very frequently. I mean I don't have no. it in front of me but like I don't I don't know. I think Land Grain is also doing a thing. Okay. I'm not sure. I got to reach out. I got to finish. Insert I got to I've been yeah, working good, good on plug. their good plug. I've been working on their ad for well I've been not working on their ad for like 3 months. <laughs> it's going to be so good when I get done with it but yeah, it's going to be a minute. <laughs> but also we should also mention that and we completely forgot. We'll do it next week too. But we did have winners of the split kit. Yes. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. did have winners of the split we kit. We should have picked that up on that earlier. Way Gosh. earlier. Yeah. Well, I, yeah. We should. We. I, I should like edit this in. Is this, this is why you, you listen no, to you the should. end. You if, you, if you skip early, 
No, you should, should, yeah. you should edit. No, this it should in. be in the Can you But it's a double totally. double. E knew he won again. He won again. So he's going to get the split kit jersey. But at the same time, a listener, no one knows who he is. Uh, his name's Matt. Snake. Well, he'll just go by Snake. Snake. Oh, Snake. So they won at the same time. And I, I, I hit up Morgan. And he is gracious enough to be able to send both of them a custom jersey signed by their favorite podcast. I love you, Morgan. Awesome. So, awesome. and yeah, shout out Supporter Supply again because I ended up getting the that pride kit and I wanted upper 90 on the back. And he's like, yeah, just come on out. So like last week I drove out there and he threw upper 90 on the back. Like totally awesome. I got to see like Supporter Supply HQ it's run great. Super great, and I ended up taking uh, his buddy Shrek home. Did you get to see all of the uh, the action figures with paper dicks that you sent him? I, I did. <laughs> How many hats? I did, and he did <laughs> keep them. Right and I was like, there. great. Well, what's terrible is I I bought the I bought that jersey and I bought their uh, their baseball jersey, <clears throat> and I sent it back to him, and I sent a wharf one. Mm-hmm. Like with like with Worf, oh, I was the best one. It was like you could move it. It was he was doing like half a hard hands back at you kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> but it got lost, so we they we can't find it. I'm like super bummed about it. So Okay. All right. I was like, man, I'm just gonna drive out and like check out the spot. But well, congrats man, to uh Snake awesome. and Inui. Uh and then also we're gonna re re up double down. Yeah, we're gonna we reset. We're, are we gonna reset? Is that the is that what we're doing? Okay, yeah, yeah we're so we're resetting. reset. We're about uh, just a little more than halfway through the season, so it can certainly be done again. The next listener to accumulate three correct scores between now and the end of the season, starting at zero, uh, is going to make one. Of, is going to get one of Mort's homemade uh, rocks glasses kit. Right? Yeah. Do we all have yep. one? I know yep. I have one. Yep. And I I'd do. just yeah. like to preemptively congratulate Inui on winning the Rock. <laughs> 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 yeah, let's go ahead and get ahead of this. Just, yeah. <laughs> Could we save shipping by sending the Rock's glasses <laughs> with the jersey? Uh, yeah. I mean, it still blows my mind that like so many people were on two wins after like week four, and it's yeah. taken them. Yeah, after two weeks, we're like, oh, long. crap, this is going to take like four weeks and yeah. and it's going to be done. And it's been taken. What, but these these 20? glasses are sweet, man. I So the glasses, I feel like I'm on QVC right now. Uh, you know, you just click print, you print it out. <laughs> look at that butterfly, right? Or if look it, at that horse. Like like look at that horse. Look at that horse. If you like that horse, you will like the glasses. How about that? The, the great thing tail, about the these hooves. katanas is they're so durable. <laughs> the the hooves. Look at that horse. Folks, we may need <laughs> told told it is a butter surgery <laughs> my, is a in the studio. My, oh, my, my producer, Tara Case, just told me that's not a horse, that's a butterfly. <laughs> but I mean, may in fact be look long. at what the zoom oh, did. My, you can so see the details in the long. antenna. Uh, uh, okay. The hooves on that butterfly. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I didn't know you were going there, but I, 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 I neither it. did I. I just I just rode that wave. <laughs> no, but really, this, okay. So jumping back into real life, um, <laughs> these rocks glasses they have the logo. For all three logo one each. Three of the glasses have each of the logos, and then there's one with three stars, right? Yes. Yeah, the one okay. with three stars is like awesome. My favorite. Well, so yeah. what I like to do when I'm watching the game is you know you can kind of like pick. You pick like which logo you're gonna go with, you know. Like when we had Duncan on here, Should I had the the original? the original the original logo, and I was showing it off to him. Anyway, okay, so yeah. that's gonna be the the it's giveaway. The hardest one to make, by the way. Oh, good. Okay, all right. Well, yeah. so maybe the next one will be four of those. Um, <laughs> that's what I was just saying. So that you you know you actually have to try. But uh, <laughs> I don't have a life. I will make it. <laughs> Um, who knows what you'll do uh, while others are in Portugal? Uh, so let's uh, <laughs> let's uh, let's say. hope it takes more than four weeks to figure this out <laughs> okay. because I won't be home to make it. Yeah, that's no. right. That's right. That's right. Well, well, we'll uh, we week. we will miss you uh, if you can uh, join in. Uh, yeah, man, a- hard hands. To everybody, put up hard hands to Mort. Yeah, I will. I Safe will travel. Put, hard hands back hard, at you. Ha- half a hard hand. 
No. We'll do full hard hands. Hoof hearted? Um, and <laughs> and then Haas, if you can join, uh, we'll talk to you then. Um, if we yeah, have some yeah, open seats, maybe we'll have uh, some, some guest folks on. But until then, uh, we'll talk after the LAFC game. Go crew. Go. 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 What time is it? It's crew time. We love you. Thanks, everyone, for joining the club. We hope you'll listen next week and every week, even in the off-season, to celebrate or commiserate. We'll save you a seat. If you like this podcast, please give us five stars and subscribe. You can email us at upper90clubpod at gmail.com. That's upper90clubpod at gmail.com. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram at upper90clubpod. Go crew! Mort on the shelf. Yeah, there's got to be. There's, there's was, something. There's was, a joke no, here. My, yeah, I, my wheel yeah. was spinning so fast. <laughs> I was like, more on a port, more on a port, more on a short, more on shorts? No, it's not going to work. Just, the hamster and Mark's brain is just like. That is exactly <laughs> what was happening. <laughs> was like, more, like, port, <laughs> short, port. The damn hamster's like spinning around the wheel. <laughs> no match <laughs> found. No match found. <laughs> <laughs> it's like. <laughs> 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 <laughs>